why I'm doing the blog, mm -hmm. right? You know, because my, my interest is, I do think there um, are a lot of blogs out there. There's literally hundreds of bloggers out there. Most of the bloggers that I've seen, and I've watched several, um, they're all 35 or younger. The, the typical vloggers are 35, and they're talking about things that are interesting, and I find it interesting to watch, but it's not what I'm going through in my life. Um, and there isn't really somebody who is telling stories, who's using cinematography, who's using videos, that's focused on what I want to focus on. So my name's Jeff Kingsfield. Uh, I'm almost 50 years old. Uh, I'm in my second marriage and I have two kids of my own that are uh, off to college. And I have two kids from my wife Kelly who you'll get to know very well in all of my blogs. Uh, one is 15 and one is 28. So we have the full spectrum of life. Uh, we have children that were uh, going through that huge transition in life. We have adult children that we're trying to make sure get launched in life. And then we have a 15-year-old that is going through the things that 15-year-olds go through. And so that's a little bit about where I am in my life. I'm completely fascinated with YouTube because I think you can quickly get a message out to people that are interested in the same things. I use YouTube for everything now. If I want to learn how to edit the video, I watch a YouTube. If I want to learn how to change the oil in my car, I watch a YouTube. Everything that I'm doing, if I'm curious about how to learn something, I go to YouTube and it teaches me. So part of what I want to do is to teach. I think some of my vlogs will be instructional. They'll talk about so things I that I it, it, It's more about connection than it is about why to watch. When, when I pick the YouTubers that I watch, it's because I'm connecting with them through living their life. and. You know, watching your approaching empty nesterhood. What does that look like? We're building a new house. Um, we're excited about our new house because it's going to be our empty nester house. So this first video is really uh, a sequence of making some selections for our new house. Hopefully you'll find that interesting. Uh, I'm an Ironman triathlete and I'm not a good Ironman triathlete. Uh, I have done uh, 11, I have completed 11 Ironman triathlons. And probably the most interesting about it is that all 11, my wife, Kelly, has been right beside me. She also is an Ironman triathlon. So if you're out there and you want to know how do you balance work, life, and training for a triathlon, we'll talk a little bit. We'll, we'll talk a lot about that because we spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to balance life with all that we do. Uh, are you I'm introducing a, your vlog or are you introducing us picking out stuff yesterday? And I think... What you just did is you introducing your vlog. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to introduce why I'm making a vlog. You know, yeah. I mean, this first vlog, it really is irrelevant. It, it's just, it, I finally committed to editing video together to put some content together. My content will be terrible in the beginning and it'll get better as I go along. Uh, but it's not about building a house. It's about living life. It's about living life yeah. in the second half.
All right, so we got a little busy. Um, there was supposed to be a transition from the old lens to the new lens, but some stress interrupted that. <laughs> what kind of stress? So, uh, wife stress. So, wife stress? How yes. can you have wife stress? Wife stress is when the vlogger is messing with their camera and the wife wants to do something and the vlogger is taking too much time. Okay. They're, they're probably, I bet if you were to call Casey Neistat's wife, she would be able to define exactly what that is. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear any crap ever again about it takes me an extra three seconds to exit the vehicle than it takes you. I don't want to hear that crap anymore. Well, that, that's completely different. So I was creating an epic unpacking, my first as a vlogger. I think I'm really committed. I've done a lot of practice. I'm committed to making my first vlog. Okay. This is gonna this is gonna get posted. I've taken a lot of video and haven't posted anything because I'm practicing. I don't like it. Hopefully, I'll like this. Took some good B-roll. I didn't get as much video as I wanted at the tile place because I wanted to talk about what we we're doing. But I'm still trying to figure all that out. Yeah. So, but now. See, this was your first unpacking. What do you mean? You have like a thousand pieces of camera equipment. Yes, that's correct. This was my first taping of an unpacking. Okay. So, and. Which I'll... you decided to do as we were entering the tile store to pick out tile for the master bath, the powder bath, the other three bathrooms. And, and we have to go pick out, we have to go tweak some countertop selections today. And you decide to do the unpacking, your first unpacking vlog during this other momentous occasion. Well, I didn't really decide that. So is that really wife stress or is that <laughs> self-inflicted stress? I think that's self-inflicted stress. Okay, so let me frame the story for you. Okay, you keep your eyes on the road. We're just gonna watch you. Uh, okay, so two nights ago, I finally decided that I was gonna buy this lens. Or I was thinking about buying a lens and we were going to bed and you said, what are you doing? I said, I'm looking at Amazon. What are you looking at? I'm looking at this lens. And the good news is uh, we're happy. Caution, narrow lanes. Narrow lanes. 
the good news is we're halfway through our year and we got a little bit of a bonus and then we got a little bit of a surprise bonus we had a little extra cash so <laughs> um, <laughs> we, you gave me permission to go ahead and buy the lens so I bought the lens on Thursday night Amazon is the coolest most amazing thing ever they delivered the lens uh, on Saturday morning and as we were leaving to go do our stuff I looked on UPS it was on the truck and what happened we're driving down the road and we see a UPS truck and Kelly says hey I bet they have your lens so we literally flagged down the UPS guy if I had been videotaping it would have been a great part of the story and said hey do you have our delivery for 533 Bryn Mawr and he goes oh yeah it's my next stop so he goes back on the truck probably my favorite part of the whole story is he comes back and Kelly goes um, do you need to see my ID? And he's like, no, no, no. I know who you are. Well, so, he says, I've seen you there. Yeah. So When has he ever seen me there? I don't know. We we order a lot of stuff on Amazon. So I think it's kind of... Uh, I never see the UPS driver, though. I don't know. Well, you're pretty rememberable, right? He so. didn't say I saw you there when looking at me. He remembered the hot blonde chick. He said, oh, no, no. I know. I've seen you there. Well, okay. So the cool thing is we get this lens off the truck we're a mile from our house and so now we're driving and I planned on creating this whole vlog today my idea today was vlogging for the house quick story of making selections and how how that works and how much stress that creates and, and there was some stress and I didn't get any of it but that's cool well anyway so I get the camera well part of the vlog is going to be the unpacking the when you get a new piece of a camera equipment for those out there that's like the highlight of everything, right? So I wanted to get the unpacking. Well, I've been watching a lot of storytelling videos and unpacking requires you to take video multiple times. So I unpacked it multiple times. <laughs> one, so I could tell the story of unpacking and one, so I could get some B-roll uh, in slow-mo of me unpacking. So hopefully all that'll work. Well, anyway, I was unpacking it for the... Okay. Hey, my girl, we, we only have an hour and 20 minutes before the countertop place closes. The countertop place that we've been to three times? You have been there one time. <laughs> no, this is my third visit. This no, is your fourth not. visit. It is not true. Yes. Yes. We went there once and we walked through everything. We didn't just, pick anything. That was just a, we were just out killing time that day. That, that, that time does not count. Okay, so anyway, back to the story. I wanted to get some B-roll of me unpacking, and I was, as I was finishing up my B-roll, Kelly comes out of the out of the tile store. <laughs> Where the hell are you? <laughs> I've been in here. I'm ready to start picking some tile, and so I had planned on doing that some. That is not what I said. I said, "Hey, honey, are you coming in soon?" And you said. Yeah, I'm almost done. And okay. I said, okay, well, I'm, I'm trying to pick some things out. I need your help. This That's what I said. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. Not dead yet, true shit. So why do I worry about what I can see? I've been stressing about money for my rent But the money that I spent last night with my friends was worth it Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be so many lights, 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 I don't think I need to take that mud right now
known Hausta. Hausta. So uh, let's wrap up um, for the vlog today. So started out today, um, made our trip over, first stop was Tile Store, right? Tile Store, yeah. Uh, feel good about your tile selections? feel very, very good about the master bathroom tile selections. I, I love it. It's, it's dead on. We got the look we need there. Okay. And confirm uh, the countertops. Selected your countertops too. So the master the bedroom. Master bath is done. Or bath done. Yeah. Uh, I feel good about the direction we're headed in the workout bath and the uh, Skyler's bath. Not 100% sure that those are exactly the tiles I'm going to go with, but I'm going to go with something very similar, if not that. Yeah. So we may do some value tile shopping yet to do. We've got, kind of got some directional ideas, but we may go. Yeah. I think what we've selected for the cabinets and the countertops, now that we've made a reselection on the countertops, I think it, it opens us up to be able to a broader selection on tile and, and I would be just as happy with the exact same tile that we have in our in in our bathrooms in Sky's bathroom now in our current house.